Yeah, Coinbase is a diversified platform play in the crypto economy. So basically, if you're a believer that uh, crypto technology will develop um, in a number of different areas, of course, in brokerage and exchange, but also as a method of payment, as a store of value in NFTs, et cetera. If you believe in any one or more of these, Coinbase is positioning itself as that sort of platform play that creates the on-ramps and on-ramps into the crypto economy as the major Western regulated version of that. And in our view, that is an extremely unique, one-of-a-kind asset where you can get in on the ground floor. It's volatile, it's unpredictable in the near term, but if you're taking a multi-year view, in our view, this is one of the most attractive entry points to a very unique story um, over a multi-year time frame. Is your price target still 600? <laughs> it is, yes. And I would say right now, it only gets more attractive in the sense that uh, Coinbase, um, their 2021 performance was astonishingly strong. They're generating um, I think, interesting, uh, interestingly, for a company of this maturity level, over a billion dollars in gap net income uh, in 2021. And they're now trading um, at a uh, price to sales multiple of less than five times. Um, by comparison, even a high flyer like Shopify, somebody like that that's pulled back quite a bit is still at 10 times, like double the valuation. Uh, and many other companies are much higher. So we just view the current level very attractive. And that $600 price target, actually, um, it's one-year price target is only about 11 times price to sales on a one-year basis, in our view, very much in line with many of those other comps. So why do you think it is, given that Bitcoin has actually held up relatively well? You know, there's people were certainly braced for worse. We're still around 40,000, I think, at last check. Why is it the Coinbase stock has been so much harder hit than the crypto price itself? Yeah, it's look, there's no question. There's a few different dynamics going on that we'll just have to work through over time. One, there's the regulatory uncertainty. Um, so far, uh, the Fed is generally coming out, you know, reasonably positive, right? Looking for an overarching regulatory framework, um, pretty supportive of uh, stable coins, for example. But there's big uncertainty still about how crypto tokens are going to be treated as securities, right, as commodities, et cetera. That's a big regulatory uncertainty that just makes some investors uncomfortable um, investing in Coinbase ahead of the clarity around those types of decisions. There's also other factors um, like, uh, like the fact that you know, Coinbase is a one-of-a-kind asset. Actually, it would help Coinbase if other players in this space, like an FTX, like a Kraken, for example, went public and there was more disclosures and um, a broader investor community kind of understanding and educating themselves on the space because Coinbase still suffers just from a basic lack of um, like investor education and comfort um, in you know investing in this stock uh, relative to other options they have in tech.